what's going on everybody raging fury 55 here bringing you guys a brand new video and today we're starting our adobe premiere tutorial series and our first effect we're going to go over is the bounce effect tutorial for montages and other stuff like that you can use this effect for so we're going to call this project bounce effect tutorial and the reason why I'm doing this tutorial series is because I'm not going to be editing as much videos. So I want you guys to know how I edit and you guys don't have to be super dependent on me. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. So let's get right into it. Um, I'm just going to bring in the clip. Just give me one second. All right. So after a couple minutes, I found a clip and I found some good music. I found a song called Beat It and it is a remix. But anyway. So first you want to find a good part of the clip or whatever you're using where it's going to be good for the effect. So right here I get a pretty dirty no scope actually. So we're going to use that and uh, just to make it simple we're just going to cut where I got the kill. So it looks like right here I got the kill so we're going to um, make a little cut right here. And now we need to find a part of the song where it's going to, the effect is actually going to work. So, I'm just going to scroll through here, trying to find a part of the song. So right here, the beat is going towards the climax. And right here, you can see, here's right where it hits the climax. So what we're going to want to do and this effect is actually really simple and I've been wondering how to do it for ages and I finally figured it out on my own off time. But basically, there are two types of bounce effects you can use here. One is the classic, um, go scale 100 and then you go, you scroll in a little bit and then you go here, put it to 125 and then you copy and you put it around here just like equal length and you got that equal bounce effect but we can watch real quick and right here I made it a little bit too long actually so we're just gonna make it a little bit shorter I don't have a specific number of frames you should put between each keyframe I just kind of eyeball it usually uh, but usually want it to be pretty quick so let's see if I made it a little bit shorter here maybe it'll work now and I think it's still a little bit too long. So let's just make it a little bit shorter. Here we go. That's a little bit better. But as you see, this effect, it just doesn't flow very well, in my opinion, especially in many situations. But there we go. It works a little bit better right there. But uh, there's actually a better bounce effect in my opinion, and this is a little bit different. All you have to do is you go here and you go two frames out. So right here is 125. Boom. And then you're gonna wanna drag this out a little bit further on, like around here probably. So we're around 122. Point five. So you want the last keyframe to be about one second off. So we're gonna put it around right here. And uh, yeah, this time you have the bounce. The initial bounce is much quicker, but when you exit the bounce, it takes a little bit longer and actually looks really nice. So we'll just play it right here. 
And in my opinion, I think having this initial bounce to be much quicker and the exit bounce to be much slower, it just makes the overall montage look better in my opinion. But as I said earlier, it just depends on the song and everything. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys learned something. If you guys need help on your, on your montage or anything or any other effects, uh, let me know and I'll help you guys down in the comments. Uh, I know my earlier Adobe Premiere tutorials are pretty trashy, which is why I'm rebooting the series and hopefully these new tutorials are better. I actually have a com an actual computer to record these uh, tutorials where my computer is not going to overheat or anything because before I was using QuickTime on my Mac and uh, recording while editing on Adobe Premiere on my old computer was just a huge hassle, but my new computer can actually record um, my screen while using Adobe Premiere, which is awesome. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial and uh, yeah, talk to you guys later. Peace.